A few months ago I did a tutorial on 2D projectile trajectory and one folk asked me, can you make it for 3D games as well? And I replied, yeah, I will try to upload this week, this week. And it's been two months since then and I'm going to be honest, I haven't even tried to do anything. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to waste your time so let's hop into the project. As you can see I already set up the whole project and right now it has the same trajectory script from the previous tutorial. So we need to modify the script just a little to work. The first thing we need to do is to change the velocities variable type from vector2 to vector3. We do the same with function hit position. Lastly, we change from physics 2D to physics. Before we start to change everything, I want to add a few simple functions. One of them checks if our value is near zero, and the other one sets a value to almost zero. Now we can modify the max time max function to look more pretty, and we copy paste and change every x letter to z. At the calculate line point, we need to add z. Good news that z direction is almost the same as x, so we can copy and paste and change every x letter to z. Next, we go to his position and change the line cast from physics 2D to physics. In the meantime, we add the physics hit variable to get information from the raycast hit. Finally, we go to calculate line array. There we create lowest time value x and z. Then we create the ternary operator to decide which value is lower by storing it to lowest time value variable. Now we can go to the editor and add the obstacle layer. Don't forget to assign the layer to obstacles and layer mask. Actually you just needed to change few lines. <laughs> However, you chose to wait for two months. You're, You're such, such a, a dummy. Alright, jokes aside which are 100% right. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment on what next tutorial you want to see. Okay, see you two months from now.